Whoa, that's close. Oh no. Hey guys, it's Alice Adams. Just a heads up, it's like 11 o'clock at night right now and my animals are being crazy, so if you're hearing a lot of background noise, that's just my life. Because it's late, I mean, my eyebrows are coming off, I may or may not be wearing a bra right now. I haven't brushed my hair since 7 in the morning. I've just slowly stopped giving a fuck about a lot of things, and that's just what growing up is all about. Today's video, I wanted to start my first tattoo diary video. I have many tattoos, so I feel like there's a lot to explain, but I'll make like a series of me talking about different tattoos that I have. So this is my very first one of the series. Hello, welcome to the series. Nice to have you here. And yeah, so this is all about my raven tattoo. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. It's one of my most visible tattoos, so I often get a lot of people like asking me about it. This is one of my only tattoos that has meaning to me. I often get tattoos because I like the look of them, not really because they have like a meaning to me, and that is a personal decision that I make with my own body. If you want all your tattoos to mean something to you, that's awesome, but I don't. So the artist is Hugh Bastard in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. This piece took roughly, I wanna say, five or six hours to complete. It is currently about four years old, four and a half years old. So I'd say that the color held up pretty well in it. Um, it's got obviously black because it's a raven, but there's accents of pastel blue and lilac and then there's um, red roses. The original idea with this was that I was going to have them smaller and like two of them, sort of like a chess piece, but we ended up making it a little bit bigger and it kind of came a little further in from the middle. So if I did put another one it wouldn't it would be off center so I decided to just leave the one. I got this piece after going to a animal spirit guides meditation seminar thing. Even though we are not personally Aboriginal, many of the people in my family really love um, the Aboriginal culture and beliefs. So this was really exciting for us to go to this event. This wonderful woman who was taking us through this really deep, intense meditation where you are introduced to your spirit totems or your spirit guides. There was probably like 15 people. That's what you guys to close our eyes and go to like a beautiful place within us. Um, mine was personally like cherry blossoms as far as the eye could see and they were like the petals were like softly falling. The beautiful river, you're, like walking through this place and you're like looking around you, what do you smell, what do you see, things like that. And then we got to this big rock and to me I immediately pictured the Lion King rock, you know, where they're like, once you're comfortably seated at the top of this rock, you're looking out at the horizon and you're introduced to all your spirit guides. The one that stuck out to me the most was my spirit guide for protection, which was a raven. And I've always felt a connection to ravens, um, even as a child. I've always felt really peaceful and really safe around ravens, so it really made sense to me that it was my spirit guide for protection. I wanted to keep my protection over my heart. Of course, your heart isn't quite here, but I didn't want it lower. Yeah, I'm, I'm always protected, I'm always safe. My guide is always with me. The pain level for this area was definitely one of my worst experiences. Over here, it, it was like shooting up my neck, like it felt like he was actually tattooing up under, like almost near my jaw. Over the collarbone, 
was really uncomfortable as well. You could almost like feel the needle scraping against the bone, which is really uncomfortable. But I think the worst of it was right in the middle. There's, It's so sensitive all down the middle here. Down here wasn't bad at all though. Yeah, this was fine. But just all, all the bony stuff. And then of course up here where it was shooting up. But do I regret getting this tattoo? No, I don't at all. Um, like I say, it, it means a lot to me. I feel really good about this tattoo. I think I'd like to get some more color added to it and then possibly do something to connect it more with my sleeve over here. That's something that I'll have to talk to the artist about, but mostly, no, I, I have no regrets about this tattoo. I think I would consider getting the other side of my chest done as well once I decide what I really want and what's gonna flow well with this piece that I have already. So I guess what I'm getting at is the pain didn't completely shy me away from getting the area tattooed again. And that's pretty much it. In a side note, um, I wanted to mention that I'm going to be bringing my lovely ring light here to my work to take photos of hair that I'm doing so that my Instagram can be fleeky and be able to really showcase the colors that I do. I may not have ring light the next video that I make unless I start filming at work. That may happen. I'm working on getting a second ring light for at home now. <laughs> it's always a, a process and I appreciate you guys being so understanding with the different levels of audio, video, and light quality in my, in my videos for you guys the last, gosh, how long has it been now? six years. You may notice that this video is probably one of the highest quality videos that I've uploaded. I finally freaking found the battery charger for my Canon XX, SX50HS. I can film really pretty high quality videos for you. I'm so happy. I hope that this was really interesting for you. I'm really new to this whole tattoo diary thing. I hope that I did it right. Uh, if you have any suggestions um, for me for my next tattoo diary video I would really love for you to comment below if there's any specific tattoos that you want to know about like if you've seen tattoos of mine in previous videos and you're like I wonder why she got that just comment it below because I want to be giving you content that you're gonna find interesting that, that's gonna keep you guys happy because that's the main goal is to entertain make sure you give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll be seeing you next week.